follows the unexpected reunion of two high school friends, played by Tessa Thompson and Ruth Nega, whose renewed acquaintance ignites a mutual obsession that threatens both of their carefully constructed realities. This is written and directed by Rebecca Hall in her debut behind the camera, and it hit Netflix in November, after premiering at Sundance in January 2021. It's based on the novel of the same name, which I haven't read, though it has been acclaimed for its handling of race, class, sexuality, jealousy, and obsession, all of which are themes of the film as well. The film's title is a reference to racial passing, which is a central point in the story as well. Filmed in black and white and taking place in the 1920s, the film shows our two main characters, Irene and Claire, who are black women who will pass for white, though to differing degrees, with Irene only doing so very sparingly, while Claire married a wealthy white doctor, played by Alexander Skarsgård, who is openly racist and talks about it freely to Claire and Irene, completely unsuspecting of the truth. And we see the two starkly different paths the two go down as they reconnect, despite Irene initially not wanting anything to do with Claire after seeing the life she made for herself. We see Irene has a considerably more compassionate personality, while Claire is willing to do anything to get what she needs, even if it's at the expense of others, which eventually seeps its way into Irene's life, leading to tensions between the two. The film's performances are what drives most of this. Tessa Thompson is a master at subtlety here, with a lot of great emotional beats of hers being driven by her having to keep her composure through the most uncomfortable of situations. We see her more vulnerable side with her husband Brian, played brilliantly by Andre Holland, especially during one scene in which they argue over how to parent their sons about racial issues. However, when around the free-spirited Claire, who's constructed a well-guarded narrative, she has to tread carefully, having to catch herself when she sees something like Claire getting more involved in her personal life, like the way in which she sees Claire having chemistry with Brian, and Thompson does a phenomenal job, as does Ruth Nega, who we see weave in and out of Claire's facade so seamlessly while exuding this overconfidence, thinking she has everything under control. The film has a very restrained feel to it, with Hall's direction offering a delicate touch to the heavy subject matter. It's beautifully shot, and it relies heavily on its camera work and its atmosphere to support the performances. Now, sometimes it can be a bit too quiet, where I do think its attempts at doing the less is more approach can make it feel emotionally distant in certain instances, and causing it to drag slightly at a few points, plus some of the dialogue that clearly feels literary in its descriptions doesn't quite translate so well when being adapted to the big screen, but it wasn't something that was consistently distracting, as Hall did a great job of building up tension between our two leads that often felt engaging, especially going into a shocker of a finale. And all in all, it comes together to make Passing one of the finer films to float around this award season. Anchored by two superb performances from Tessa Thompson and Ruth Nega, with its complex themes handled delicately, this makes for a great directorial debut from Rebecca Hall, and it's a film you should certainly check out. Passing gets an 8 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Passing, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Was it one of your favorite Tessa Thompson movies? Do you want to see Rebecca Hall direct more films? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.